All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more Gran Turismo Sport. I was just trying to log into the servers there uh, for like the last half an hour and it wasn't working, but I finally got it working. I think you just have to keep on trying. Um, for some reason, the servers seem finicky. I, I was checking it up online. It seems like pretty much everyone is having problems. So uh, what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna buy him again and we're gonna do the second uh, cup with them again. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not this one, right? Because I'm pretty sure we can't use 350. So I think we have to go with the the standard Sport Megane, not the GR4. But let me have a, a quick look and confirm that, though. I'll just make sure that the GR4 can't be used. Because if it can, I'm going to buy that one for sure. But I think 350 is above the limit. So let's go into GT League here and just have a quick look at this cup here. We're doing the FF challenge in this part. Yeah, see, maximum power is 345. And yeah, the, um, the normal Megan is the only one we can use. That has 261 horsepower, so it's not the most powerful car we could be using. The Honda Civic would be a bit more powerful. But um, you know what? We'll, we'll try out. We've been winning pretty easily anyway. We've got all golds except for one so far. Um, what should we go with? Should we go with the yellow? I don't, know. I don't know about the yellow. Ooh, that looks sick, actually. The gray looks sick. Okay, so 38 grand. It's not too expensive or anything. Um, it's a good-looking car. I like them again. I was, if I was thinking about buying a car in real life, I'd probably look at a few Megans as well. But yeah, that looks sick, man. I really like the look of that. Uh, I'm not even going to fuck with the, the paint job just now. I think it looks pretty dope as is. So we're going to jump in and we're going to do the FF challenge. Let's do this. Race 1, Blue Moon Bay. Okay, pretty standard track. We got three laps. And it's basically just a triangle. Let's do it. Only front wheel drive cars. We could use the Clio if we wanted to, but no, we're going to use them again. All right, here we go. Merry Christmas to you all, by the way. It is the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. Uh, I probably won't have any videos up on Christmas Day because I'll be spending it with family. And I think on St. Stephen's Day, uh, I probably won't either. So next couple days, videos will be scarce. But uh, I might try and record a couple more GT Sport videos today to schedule uh, for like the 26th and 27th. Uh, but we'll see. Because I am really enjoying uh, doing this GT Sport career mode, basically. Uh, the GT League. So I don't know if I could call it a career mode, really, but that's what I have called it in the videos so far. So. Okay, it's a beautiful looking car, actually. But again, let me have a look at the inside. I didn't really have a good look at it. Pretty slick looking, I have to say. And I think we're the game looks a lot better now with less clutter down the bottom. And I had, I think it was, there was just way too much clutter. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. I should have broke a lot earlier there, but we're gonna get away with that. Kijo 208 is a nice looking car too, isn't it? I like hatchbacks, man. There's a lot of hatchbacks that I really dig. We're only at six now, and we're about to come on to the second lap. So we need to get our ass in gear. That's a nice looking car there, too. I think I might be going just a little bit too fast. I'm going to spin out here. Yep, I knew that was coming. But luckily, it doesn't slow you down too much. As we move into the podium positions, two and three seem to be pretty far ahead, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch them. Before the race is over. What cars are they in? I'd, I'd be interested to know what cars they're in. Because if we were using the Civic, I think it would be a little bit easier because that car does just have a bit more power. But. Done it again. I did it again. I did it again. I need to break there. It's because I'm, I'm not used to not having the cones or whatever. Usually the cones tell me to break out. Okay, that's a GTI. And the car ahead looks. Like it might be, it might be a McGann as well, is it? The Italian driver. Okay, final lap. We should be able to catch him. But as you can see, this makes it a little bit more challenging, which I like. I think that's a Clio, actually. Yeah, it's a Clio. But you're done now, son. See you later. Thanks for coming. We'll take that victory. off 
the accelerator there for a second. My hand off the accelerator. <laughs> Sounds so weird. <laughs> my foot off the accelerator. Even though I'm doing it with my finger. I broke this time. That's better. That's better. That's gonna do it. A nice victory to start here in our beautiful new Renault Magan. Good stuff. Took us a while to catch up, but once we did, we were not looking back, that's for sure. And it's another gold in the FF Challenge. Oh, there's another Irish man. Connor O'Moore, I'm guessing his name is. Or Callum, who knows. Okay, 7.2 grand, not too bad. So it seems like we're not really even going to make our money back from the car that we bought once we win a three, once we win a cup. I don't know, do we get a bonus at the end? I don't know, but it seems like you don't make a lot of money. Like, considering that we are going to have to be buying really expensive cars in the future, it doesn't seem like you make a lot of money from winning these cups. Um, as you can see, see it's just 6,000 for a win. That's really not that much money. Six grand? Come on. You're trying to make- I'm trying to be a millionaire here. I imagine, though, as we go further on, we'll start making more. Okay, Kyoto Driving Park. Sounds good. Can't really remember this one. I'm sure I'll remember it once we get into it. Unless it's a new track that I am unaware of. It's a good-looking car, man, I must say. I like it. Wouldn't mind getting one of these in real life. I need to start driving in real life, man. I know how to drive and everything, I just haven't done my test yet. I need to do the test. I've been just too busy driving in, <laughs> in PS4 land rather than in real life. Okay. Three laps. Three laps? Oh, this is long, man. Three laps of a three-mile track? Okay. I thought this was going to be two laps for sure, but... Alright, this is a pretty pretty lengthy one, then. the accelerator for a split second. Get out of here. Alright, we can be patient because we do have a lot of time. I said be patient, my dude. That is not patience. Patience is a virtue. All right, the German is in first. We're coming for you, Burger. It's Daniel Burger's brother. His German brother. Thank God I hit that guy because I was going skidding way past. If I didn't, I was going way off track. But luckily, we just clipped him. Helped us out of it. In many ways, this really does feel like kind of a Drive Club successor to me. I know it's a Gran Turismo game at heart, but like Drive Club um, was a game that I really poured a lot of time into and enjoyed. It's not like exactly like Drive Club or anything, I just think it's kind of that style of game. Which I really enjoyed, and I'm happy that Gran Turismo Sport has come out at just the right time. I wish they would have waited for the career mode release, and I'm sure a lot more people would have bought the game on release. But, you know, they have it now, that's the main thing. And my videos at the start did really, really well, but uh, I only done like six or seven of them. Because there was like not too much to show off really. I was going to keep doing the challenges. They take super long to record, I don't know. 
I didn't know whether people would enjoy that. Okay, that's not too bad. We're into the podium positions I didn't even notice. Oh, we're on the second lap already. Oh, we ju we're just going around the second, the first lap, I see. So, yeah, it's pretty long. Okay, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Wait a second. Wait a second. There you go. Two McGann's side by side, racing it up. Coming for you, boy. You know it's true. You've always known it's true. You're about to say goodbye. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Thanks for coming, bud. That was my moment to overtake. You're done, son. And I don't think we'll be looking back anytime soon. Let's go into cockpit. The sound is so different in cockpit as well. I like it. Especially with the headphones on. Alright, that was a good corner there. As we head close to the final lap. Just a couple more turns. See them just in the rear view mirror there. They're not too far behind yet, but we'll leave them for dust on the final lap here, friends. Renault Sport. Alright. It's about to go left there for some reason. Imagine I did. Lost the race because of it. Alright, final lap. Let's do this. Pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. This guy isn't isn't leaving us yet, though. This one guy. But I think this is where I'm gonna start to pull away now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's still coming. He ain't giving up too easily, boys. Starting to make me nervous. Oh, Jesus Christ, and then I do this. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Get back on that track, sir. And he's overtaking us. Okay. Everybody stay calm. He was yeah, getting me nervous and made me mess up a little bit, but we got time. Let's go back out. Chase cam for this. Jeez, I didn't slow down nearly fast enough. You know what? We got away with that beautifully. And we're back into the lead, just in the nick of time. Come on, turn, 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 acceleration! Only one more big turn to come. See, these are long races, man. This is going to be near a seven-minute race, for Christ's sake. Nobody got time for that. It's a nice track, though. I must say this one. Kyoto. What is it called? The Kyoto driving track or something like that? Yeah, it's going to be probably just under seven minutes. And the next one is pretty similar in length. And also three laps. So, it's going to be another pretty long race, but... This was a pretty entertaining one. The white man there, the guy in the white McGann, kept it entertaining until the finish. But we do pull away with the victory. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Money, 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 money. Absolute money, baby. All right, we got one more to go. And this is at Alsace, Alsace, Alsace. 
Okay, this is a long track too, actually, and this is three laps this time. I remember we done this the last time and it was pretty long, and that was only two laps. Even longer this time. Pretty crazy. We'll stick with them again. We'll stick with them again. It's uh, serving us well so far. Two victories. And I believe we do have to get a new car for the the next challenge. What was that? The F something? It's the F something else challenge. I can't remember exactly, but um, we're gonna need a new car for that. All right, FF Challenge Race Three. This is the final one. Can we get gold in all three? Let's find out. See you later, German. The German, and then we're about to take over the Italiano boy. And the Japanese man, I will see you later. And now it's time to catch the man from the US of A. It's time to make America slow again, sir. Because I'm going to make you look like a bad guy. And his name is Guy. <laughs> now another German. All right. And I'm coming for you, sir. Just got away with that one. Nice and well so far. Climbing the spots nicely. Oh, we got a Frenchie up next. No, we got a Canadian and a, a Frenchie. How about a French-Canadian? Now it's time to catch that guy from across the pond. Tommy Blanchard. From the United Kingdom. You're going down, sir. Holy shit, we were going way too fast there, but actually we weren't. That was beautiful. That was just beautiful. And we're into the top five. As we move ever closer to that top spot. We're still on the first lap, by the way. This is mental. This is going to be a long race, people. I would say even longer than the last one, is it? If not, very similar length. Well, it's definitely going to be longer, for sure. 100% longer. It's gonna be like 2.30 per lap, which would add up to like 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So yeah, the races are getting longer for sure, they're just adding an extra lap now. As we head towards the second. shall not look back. We shall not look back. Let's go into a cockpit view here. And let's just speed our way to the finish. I'm getting a little too good now. I'm getting a little bit too in the rhythm. Might have to turn the difficulty up. How do I do that? But doesn't really seem like there's an option to change the difficulty anywhere. I don't know. For people that are better than me, it might get a little bit boring, right? If there is no way to turn it. They're probably playing on manual. I don't know. That makes it a little bit harder, probably. This guy is still there. I feel like I've been racing unbelievably well, but he's not too far behind me. He ain't 
giving up. He's waiting there like the white McGann was until I just make a little mistake. That wasn't good. That wasn't a very good turn there. Just about get away with it though. He's trying to overtake us now. Straight now, straight now. We're good. Okay. That was a terrible turn. Losing a little bit of concentration, I guess. But last lap, let's do this. Have our best lap yet. There you go, not bad. Not great either, but not terrible. ain't giving up. Maybe we need to take him out. Just absolutely ram him. I'm kidding, of course. I would never do such a thing. I'm such a well-seasoned professional driver. I would never do something of that caliber, of that nature, rather. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. We just got away with that, dude. Oh, he's so close now. He's not giving up. It's a Greek. Try this. I don't know to say that, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna get that W all the same. Thanks for coming. Everybody, stay calm. He's not too close to us. Got this. We only have one more corner to get around. Oh, we got a couple more exit. We got that nasty little one at the end. Jesus Christ, Leslie's gonna overtake us here. He really is. Yep. Yep, he's overtaking us. Oh, Jesus. Let's go back to Chase Cam now to finish this off. Oh, thank God I kind of blocked him off as well. Otherwise, we would have been screwed there. If I didn't block him off as well. He would have won the race there. Okay, last corner. Come on, baby. We got this. No, no, no. Why is that corner so hard to goddamn do? Luckily, we're still going to get the W, though. Ha ha! Nice victory. Again, this guy kept it entertaining. There's always one guy that seems to keep up with us. And we get the gold in the FF Challenge. All three. Beautifully done. We've only got one non-gold so far. And that is another seven grand. We have over 200 now. And we're going to have to buy a new car for the next part. We're level 10 now. Whoop. Whoop. Level 10. It's the sound of the police. All right. Nicely done. Nicely done, fellas. Nicely done indeed. And next up we have the Mazda Roadsters Cup or we have the F4 Challenge. Um, we'll see which one we go with. Let me know which one you'd like to see in part number four. But that's the first three all done and dusted. The only one we haven't got gold in was the very first one. And um, one guy was just way ahead. But uh, overall, really happy with that. We've unlocked the Amateur League now as well, guys, as you can see, which is really, really dope. I can't wait to get into some of the amateur ones, like the Clubman Cup and stuff like that. Um, so these ones obviously are going to get a lot harder and a lot more powerful. As you can see, the max horsepower for that one is 542 horsepower. So already it's getting a lot more intense. And as we get into the amateur league and work our way up to the endurance or the professional in the endurance league, things are going to get serious. Thanks for watching here. I appreciate it. We'll be back very soon with part number four of GT Sport Career Mode. Peace out.